The Go-To Pink Prisma is a light, creamy, opaque pink that matches every skin tone. It is easy to wear and the maintenance can be done with a fast one-ball fill-in. And it is also great for pink and white lovers that want a fun little change. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands with Sanitize, Sanitize, Sanitize. Available in peach, gardenia, and fragrance-free. Clean off the nail with fast-acting polish remover, available in peach or gardenia, and even if the client doesn't have polish on, I still clean off the nail. Now I'm going to etch the nail with my 100 grit purple terminator etcher. You just stick it on. There we go. And then when you're all done, you can just peel it off and throw it away. Etch the nail the way the nail grows and put little scratches in the surface of the nail. Proper etching eliminates 75% of lifting. And when I put on my etcher strip, I like to overhang it just a little bit. That way when you go in around the cuticle, it gets it really nice. Don't go across the nail. That will deteriorate the nail. Go with the way the nail grows. Make sure there's no shiny spots. Now I'm going to use my trigium stone to push back the cuticle and make sure that there's no skin that's grown up on the nail if there's any skin on the nail, this will cause lifting. Now I'm going to dust off the nail with my disinfectable plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to prime the nail with non-lifting nail primer. And I always keep my primer in a primer holder and my little towelette so I can wipe off my brush. I'm going to be applying two coats of primer. My first coat of primer, I'm going to let dry this kills the germs on the nail and dries out the oils in the nail. And my second coat of primer I will apply right before I apply my acrylic. Dab off your brush. Prime the nail. I dab my brush so I don't get too much primer. Then wipe off my brush before I place it back into my primer so I don't have any contamination. I will be using my Competitive Edge Custom Original Double Thick Extra Long Nail Form. Split it and hold the form with your thumbs towards your client. Put a really nice curve in your form. Place this curve under the free edge. Stick down the sides. Stick together your wings. And secure your form. I will be using my Prisma Deep Well Ceramic Dappen Dish an extra adhesion nail liquid. I will be using my Kalinske Red Sable Large Flat Brush, my disposable towelettes, and my disposable table towel. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer so my primer is wet when I apply my acrylic. This promotes adhesion. Prime sparingly. Make sure you don't get any on the skin. Wipe off your brush. This is going to be a large ball and this is my free edge ball. Dip your brush all the way in. Wipe away from you. Just a little bit. I need a lot of liquid. Drag towards you. Pick up a nice large ball. Place this ball onto the free edge area. Let it flow. One, two, three and start patting it out. Bring up your sides. Bring up your side. Stroke it out. Taper out the free edge. Bring in your tip. Even it up. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. A little less liquid. A little smaller ball. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. 
stroke it out, side, side, center, clean up the sides, wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. This is a small to medium ball. Place this ball 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow. Stroke it out. Side. Side. Center. Clean up the side. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Drag towards you. Small to medium ball. Place this ball almost at the cuticle. Release liquid into it. Let it flow. And stroke it out. Side. Side. Center. Now I'm going to squeeze the C-curve. The nail is no longer shiny. Start at the nail bed. Work your way out. This makes the nail really strong and nice and tapered. I will be using my disposable long lasting zebra file and my disposable clean finish buffing file. Super easy. Just peel off the back, hold it, and then just stick it on. And when you're done filing, you can just peel it off and throw it away. So you have a new file for every client. And then you can just disinfect your plastic boards. Now I'm going to score my edges. When I file around the cuticle, it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to remove the form. Squeeze it together first. And it makes it a lot easier to get off. Now I'm going to file my nail in five steps. My first step, I file straight out from the nail groove on the left. Second step is straight out from the nail groove on the right. And make sure you hold the finger and the nail securely. You don't want it to wobble. Step number three is the shape of the free edge. This is going to be a square, so I hold my file straight up and down, hold the finger securely, and go straight across. Step number four is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Nice long strokes, file down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. There's a little road that goes around the cuticle. There's product, natural nail, cuticle. You're going to place your file in that little road. Get it nice and smooth, flush with the natural nail. Nice long strokes, like a horseshoe down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side until you get it nice and smooth. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks, so you want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. I'm going to dust off my nail, and I'm just going to check my nail, make sure all my angles are good. This is perfecting, it's not a step. This is a tapered square, so I'm going to make sure that my sides come straight out and taper in slightly, which they already do with my C-curve. I just want to make sure they're perfectly even. Now I'm going to buff the nail with my clean finish buffer. And this buffer is made out of material, so it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. Especially with light colored nails, this is really important. And you can use it dry, with oil, or with water. Buff the nail. 
down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Make sure the cuticle gets nice and smooth. Out towards the tip. And smooth the edges. Have the client go wash their hands with peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply Top Gel Plus, a super high gloss non-yellowing top gel. Nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Cap the tip. Cure 45 seconds in an LED, 30 seconds in a Mighty Mini LED, or 2 minutes in a UV. Clean off the nail with Clean It. Apply conditioning cuticle oil available in Peach or Gardenia. This is so good for the cuticles. Your clients need to have their cuticle oil at home. Helps keep their natural nails really healthy. Now you have your go-to pink Prisma nail. When you're all done, remove your disposable file and buffer strips. Fold up your disposable towel and throw everything in the trash. So easy and it keeps everything clean. Then go wash your hands with your peach antibacterial soft suds and your plastic manicure brush. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.